Alaykum salam. Expand a little bit on the concept of There are, in one way, two types of hidayah, of guidance. For example, Allah Azza wa says, إِنَّكَ لَا تَهْدِي مَنْ أَحْبَبْتَ وَلَكِنَّ اللَّهَ يَهْدِي مَنْ يَشَاءُ Which means, you are not the one who guides, that is to the straight path, whom you love, but it is Allah Azza wa Jal who guides whom He pleases. On the other hand, Allah Azza wa says in the Quran, إِنَّكَ لَا تَهْدِي إِلَى صِرَاطٍ مُسْتَقِيمٍ Describing Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam again, truly, this means truly you guide to the straight, to the, to the path that is straight. The first type of hidayah is hidayah to tawfiq. The hidayah from Allah Azza wa we as people of Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah, we believe that the source of it is Allah Azza wa Jal. Hidayah to tawfiq. In other words, in a sense, what is that original mover that gets me sometimes, suddenly I start thinking when I was not. What happened? There, there is something that happens, there is a breeze there's this beautiful breeze that one day, it was always there, but one day suddenly it, it touched my heart. And I suddenly feel something I didn't feel before. Suddenly I'm afraid when I was not afraid before. Suddenly I understand when I didn't understand before. Suddenly I care when I didn't care before. That's hidayah to tawfiq from Allah Azza wa Jal. The struggle, by the way, and you touched on at, at a very, very f important issue that's very fine. My struggle alone, alone, as a mu'min, I always have to know, does not do it without Allah Azza wa Jal. I could be struggling and struggling. I could be laboring like a... In the physical world, I could be laboring like a donkey. But the product is very, very minimal. And somebody labors less and produces more somehow, sometimes. Well, that nafha from Allah Azza wa Jal, that breeze from Allah Azza wa Jal, that hidayah to tawfiq, I must always await for it. I must work hard and work hard and await for that breeze to blow one day and to take my heart along. Just like the farmer who works hard and works hard, but doesn't know when the rain comes. But he knows he needs the rain, and only when the rain comes, when that wind comes with that rain, then there will be fruits. So I and you must labor, must work hard. And work hard because you never know when, and we use all the times that we have. For at some time there is a breeze of Allah Azza wa that comes, if I'm not laboring at that moment, I'm not going to pick it up. That hidayat al tawfiq. That thing that begins in your heart. Suddenly and then, and then it bursts into a tawbah, into a, a sincere tawbah. But before tawbah, there is something else. My heart must move. There is something, there's got to be some lack of comfort in my heart. There is something that must be there before I embark on tawbah, for example. And that's hidayah from Allah Azza wa Jal. إِنَّ اللَّهَ يَهْدِي مَنْ يَشَاءُ وَمَا تَشَاءُونَ إِلَّا أَنْ يَشَاءُ اللَّهِ And that's part of our tawheed of rububiyyah. Please note, this is, we must know this, we must believe in this. Because that is part of Tawheed al-Rububiyyah. And our action and doing, I must do even though I know it is all up to Allah Azza wa Jal. 
must work, must do, that's part of Tawheed al or Tawheed al And there are, alhamdulillah, people whose minds and whose hearts have been illuminated by the nur of Allah Azzawajal. And for them, this is very, very clear. For some, it may seem as not easily reconcilable. Tawheed al requires that لا يكون إلا ما شاء الله عز وجل. There is nothing that happens in this universe, literally nothing, physical or emotional or intellectual, a move or the absence of a move without the will and the knowledge of Allah Azza wa Jal. That's Tawheed al rububiyyah And that's, and when you have that Tawheed al rububiyyah Subhanallah, your Qalb, your Qalb attains peace faster. Wallahi alladhi la ilaha illahu. Some of us have Tawheed al ubudiyah and no Tawheed al rububiyyah And that's very difficult. Life is going to be very difficult. We're going to spend moments and times of agitation, of restlessness, of anger. There's a lot of anger when there is lack of, of internalization of Tawheed al rububiyyah There's a lot of anger, a lot of lack of sabr, a lot of hastiness. And Tawheed al requires that we do, we act, cause and effect. And the effect is up to Allah Azza wa We must do. That is Hidayah uh, Tawfiq, the first one. And the second one is Hidayah to Irshad, to guide us to do and to act. And that's what Rasulullah's mission is to guide us to do, to ubudiyya, to do. But the guidance to begin, if you will, that's Allah Azza wa Jal. And that's why those who know Allah fear Allah a lot. Those who know Allah love Allah a lot. Those who know Allah fear Allah a lot. Allah Ta'ala Alam.